it was clear. It became quite clear for us that there could not be a future without forgiveness. That we have so many horrendous examples of what happens when people do not forgive. When an outrage provokes a reprisal and that provokes a counter reprisal and it goes on ad infinitum. Isn't that what happens in the Middle East? A suicide bomber and as sure as anything the Israeli will retaliate but as sure as anything there is going to be another suicide bomber. As sure as anything there will be a reprisal. As sure as anything there will be a counter reprisal. And you see but when are we going to learn that ultimately there is no true peace, no true security that ever came from the barrel of a gun? When will we learn? And, and we saw just a little in South Africa that, yeah, Forgiveness is not easy, it's not cheap. It often has to be confrontational. But if you try and say, let bygones be bygones, they somehow never get to be bygones. They have an incredible capacity to return and haunt us. And you know, we, all of us, have discovered, haven't we, a deep, deep longing, not for conflict. We have a deep, deep longing being able to live in peace, in harmony. But you see, that was what God intended long ago, that we would live happily together. And you get the lovely story of the Garden of Eden, where there is no bloodshed, not even, not even for religious purposes. Every, everybody in the garden is a vegetarian. I mean, <laughs> uh, it, it, that is God's dream for us to live in harmony. And when we say us, not just us human beings, all of God's creation, the trees and the birds, the flowers, the atmosphere is God's dream. And you know, <laughs> it's indeed a wonderful, wonderful thing. 